Officers, for the time. Well, Chloe Forbrook. Uh, Mr Speaker, I rise on behalf of the Green Party in support of what we think is an, uh, a brilliant uh, notice of motion. Uh, this is something which is really cool, basically, and in summary. Um, I fundamentally believe, personally, um, as is the Green Party, that accessibility and transparency are two different things. Um, so New Zealand consistently ranks really highly when it comes to transparency. I believe there was a report released last week which spoke to exactly that. But transparency, being able to go onto Parliament's website and seeing what's happening, um, is a very different thing to being able to understand what is actually happening. I've had many people in my very short time as an MP tell me that they feel as though they need a law degree or a degree in economics to be able to uh, wade through what they perceive as very technocratic jargon and waffle. Uh, so accessibility is about ensuring that people are able to engage properly, and that's what we believe uh, that this here, uh, these e-petitions, will allow people to do. Um, why this is so fundamentally important is because democracy is not something that happens just every three years with a general election. We believe that it is crucial that people are able to uh, speak and engage with, uh, speak to and engage with Parliament outside of those general election cycles, uh, particularly about things that they are passionate about, that they feel as though this Parliament may potentially be neglecting. Uh, so e-petitions also, uh, what is being proposed, will provide certainty uh, around form and around process, as was mentioned previously by the Honourable Chris Hipkins, uh, because there will be that back and forth to and fro with the Office of the Clerk to ensure the certainty uh, around that formulation of the petition itself, to ensure that there are no hiccups along the way than it is eventually tabled in the House. Uh, I think that a lot of Kiwis are currently actually engaged with third-party uh, petitions, which are available online and probably aren't aware of how much of a workaround this is, as was mentioned uh, by Chris Hipkins, uh, about, about the fact that this is a very convoluted and actually messy process whereby uh, we end up having e-petitions presented in paper form, uh, the name of one person and the name of multiple people. Uh, so it's time to enter the 21st century in just New Zealand's actually quite late to the game on it, despite uh, considering it in 2014. Uh, we saw the USA and Canada do it in 2013, uh, and the UK doing it in 2015. Uh, and I find myself quite peculiarly uh, agreeing with my uh, colleague across the House, uh, Jamie Lee Ross, about how it is incredibly important here um, that we see that this is a parallel process that happens in tandem uh, with those other forms of paper petitions to ensure that we are not excluding people. Um, because fundamentally, democracy is about access. So in summation, Mr Speaker, the Green Party are very proud to support this notion. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no, the ayes have it. I call on Government Order of the Day number two. Health National Cervical Screening.